Honorable Kapitsi this year. The graduation committee has selected a graduating student speaker to deliver a salutary student address. Now, this student must be a member of the graduating class, have a minimum grade point average of 3.0, that's a B, and well represent the graduating class. I think that I can speak from experience that the speaker selected uh, meets all three criteria, especially in representing the graduating class that I have had good fortune to have considerable interaction with during this last academic year. The speaker is Cherry de Guzman. Jerry is receiving his Associate in Arts degree and plans to pursue a career in international business law. Jerry is the ASUH HCC Senate Human Resources Manager and First Vice President of the Phi Theta Kappa Pacific Region. He looks forward to continuing coaching Little League and Pop Warner Midget Football. He's also married, I understand only works full time, and has three daughters. Jerry. <laughs> Regent Joseph Blanco, Special Assistant to the Chancellor Sharon Narimatsu, Provost Peter Kessinger, the Honorable Mary Belts, honored faculty and esteemed colleagues. At one point, some years back, we chose to pursue a higher education. For many, this decision was based on the need to achieve self-actualization and personal enrichment. For most, however, higher education simply translates to higher pay. Regardless of the motivation behind our decision, this challenge was undertaken despite having to fight all odds. And we all too often made tremendous personal sacrifices that took a monumental toll on our own happiness and personal well-being. We have envied with passion those here before us. But now, it is our moment to shine. And tonight, we march to conquer a world of new challenges and to bask in a universe of exciting new opportunities. But what exactly have we gained? What do we have to show for our perseverance and tenacity? Well, keep in mind that as modern technology increases and vocations become more specialized, so too will the demand for competent professionals who brandish the necessary skills to meet the industrial needs of tomorrow. Know that Honolulu Community College is Hawaii's front runner in technical education. As such, you can be assured that your fundamental skills have been keenly honed to a razor sharp edge. Likewise, studies have shown that community college students when moving on to pursue a bachelor's degree are more likely not only to succeed, but to do better than their traditional university counterparts. Indeed, educators the world over acknowledge the importance of America's community colleges, as evidenced by the following excerpt from a recent newspaper article. It is not Yale or Harvard that impresses them. It is the community colleges which offer millions of Americans an affordable education whether it is a teenager who goes on to a university, a professional who needs job retraining, or a senior seeking personal enrichment, your community colleges are a model for the world. And I strongly feel that, by far, Honolulu Community College epitomizes such values. My fellow graduates, in closing, let me point out that tonight's commencement is both a pilgrimage and a challenge. For we have undertaken a monumental journey of self-actualization, a journey of personal enrichment, 
a journey of valuable learning experiences. Now, imagine the possibilities that lay before us and realize that only through meeting such difficult challenges will opportunities arise. And I charge each and every one of you not to allow your burning aspirations to die. Attack these challenges with full force and let the world know exactly what it means to be a Honolulu Community College graduate.